when you're close enough to someone that they are like your sister, like your brother, like your mother, like your everything, you always want that to stay. Or do you? Keep watching to find out what book we're talking about today. I'm Kyla Denanyo and you're watching Kyla's Reading Day. So today we're talking about the book When We Were Sisters. This book was written by Fatima Asghar. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is literature, short stories, okay? So this book is a novel, but it truly reads like multiple short stories, okay? And one of the most important quotes in this book to me is right here. What no one will ever understand is that the world belongs to orphans. Everything becomes our mother. So that quote is so important because you are following three sisters as you read this book, okay? Noreen, Aisha, and Kazar. Okay, these three sisters are working very, very hard to make it, to deal with regular stuff like boys and wanting lipstick and also having to realize that you have no food when you get back home. You have no water. What happens when you're in a medical emergency and you have no transportation? And so it's a truly heartbreaking read, but it's so enjoyable because there are all of the poems that are interjected where you get to hear the mom's perspective, right? When the book starts, the mom is deceased already. So to get a poem and to get her perspective about why she and the dad named the kids what they do, to get the perspective of the dad when he's out and when he actually gets harmed, is really great, okay? So Fatima Asgar put this together in a brilliant way. This was a really, really enjoyable read, okay? So there's this part to the book when Karzar is describing herself as being a scorpion. She is just burning up, she's in rage. I think she gets overcome with grief for not having her parents. I think she's overcome with heartbreak for the fact that her sisters have to mother her. They become sisters, brothers, jailers, confidants, protectors to each other. And she describes herself as being the scorpion that's just ready to just sting, just jump out and just get anybody, right? Anyone can get the rage. And so Kazar is described like that at least twice in the book. Once when they just move in with Uncle Blank, because <laughs> we never know who this uncle is who adopts them. And then another time when she is out at the lake with her crush, right? And so she's overcome. She wants to be with this boy, but also she knows that Allah will be mad at her. And she just gets these waves of emotion, these waves of just being enraged. And I really think that it has to do with the grief of what she's feeling. And it just kind of triggers and compounds and she just realizes my life is difficult. Can it stop? But also why is this my life? But also I'm just mad at everything. <laughs> and even as I'm talking to you, I'm remembering a time when it happened again, when she was out with the two sisters, she wanted to go out and just be in the park and she starts to hear her dad's voice. And then the sisters eventually get into a fight and you just get these waves of emotions, these waves of grief and frustration at how difficult their life is, but also how beautiful it is because the sisters have each other, right? And so an excellent book. I mean, I definitely was crying while I was reading it because there are some portrayals and I'm like, I've never met you Fatima Asghar, but I've had that exact same thought. How did you know, right? And so it, it was a very telling book. It was a great, great book. And so there is a really satisfying moment towards the end of the book where you find out that all three sisters have made it to adulthood. Okay, because their lives were really, really precarious. They were right on the edge of being able to make it, being able to survive, and they do survive. So would I reread the book when we were sisters? Yes, absolutely. Because this book was, it was really haunting, right? I, I imagine the next time I read it, I'll still be cheering for Kazar. I'll still wonder what's gonna happen with Noreen. And I even think that as I mature, as I get older, as my daughter gets older, I'll really start to think about a lot of the stories that are in the book and reimagine them for even my child. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up or like the video. That really does help YouTube share these kind of book reviews and book recommendations with a larger audience, okay? And let me know, 
Do you enjoy books that are written kind of like short stories that are all put together? Do you enjoy books that have a little bit of poetry in them similar to this book when we were sisters? Okay so I will see you next week on Kyla's reading day.